health-related problems, which result from drinking too much, too fast, or too often, affect more than 14 million U.S. adults. So how can we recognize some of the problems? We turn to Dr. George Koob, director of the National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism, who joins us live via satellite. Good morning, doctor. Now, especially after the holidays, especially uh, while alcohol was flowing more freely, what possible signs of an alcohol problem may have surfaced that we would recognize? Well, one of the signs might be engaging in binge drinking, or a person, uh, you know, is, uh, for a male, that would be five drinks, uh, and for a female, four drinks in a two-hour period. Uh, another might be having embarrassed oneself at an office party uh, or, or work party um, during the holidays. Those are two signs. Uh, uh, but a, a more severe, perhaps, sign would be uh, having uh, received a, a, a DUI, a, a driving under the influence citation, or, or multiple DUIs. Doctor, what can we do to help? Well, one of the things we can do to help is, is to get information. So I recommend going to Rethinking Drinking, which is a website we have at NIAAA. You just type that into any search engine and it'll come up and you can find out about alcohol, know about alcohol, what, how much alcohol is in a drink, what is a standard drink, how much um, alcohol at different doses produce different physiological effects, et cetera. So that's one step. Another step is perhaps engage primary care doctor and have them explain to the patient and subject, you know, what are the effects of excessive drinking on the body? A third effort is not to be confrontational, but rather to engage in motivational interviewing type skills, which uh, would be something like, you know, if you want to feel better during the daytime, if you want to engage in some of those uh, New Year's resolutions like uh, increase into the equation. And, and even more, uh, perhaps, uh, if you want to save money for that special item, perhaps a new car, you can save a lot of money by not overindulging in alcohol. And certainly, doctor, we have more options than ever uh, for people. It, it Absolutely. Um, so we recommend for treatment, to, there's a website we have, it's called alcohol treatments, one word, dot NIAAA dot NIH dot gov. You can find lots of things there, um, notably what is an alcohol use disorder, what kind of treatments are available, what treatment would best fit you in, in whatever stage of alcohol use disorder you're in. And remember, alcohol use disorder now is defined as, as mild and moderate and severe. The severe form is more like what we used to call alcohol dependence. And so th there's lots of uh, really good information. We have a, a whole variety of different behavioral treatments that can range from counselors who are certified all the way up to board certified addiction medicine psychiatrists. There are a whole variety of behavioral treatments and there are actually three medications approved by the FDA for the treatment of alcohol use disorder. It, it just seems now, since we know so much, doctor, that you know, people who are beloved you know, around them need to step up and say something and get involved because it doesn't go away. Absolutely, and if there's one take home message, the earlier you engage in treating alcohol use disorder, the better. We wanna thank Dr. George Koob for his insight on this. Hopefully uh, we can steer you for some great information through NIAAA.